Alright, sorry about that, guys. My uh, computer decided to go, yeah, we're going to lag like crazy and fuck up your recording. Thankfully, it was just a transition screen that y'all you missed, so, yay. Anyway, we're going to hang out with um, uh, Oji-san. <clears throat> it should just be a uh, EXP. Yep. Alright, going into town, because we're going to turn in, or gain a quest, and turn in the Hermit quest. Okay, we're going to talk to the man outside the bookstore. We actually have to give, we have to give uh, answers for a new book. <clears throat> so let's skip through all this, and I'll give you the answers. Okay, <clears throat> what fact isn't told in the gentle way? Judo medalist names. What does the book The Punk's Way cover? How someone could live as a punk. Guide to pests. How many pages were used per pest? Two pages per pest. In Riddle Mania, what's the solution to the gold medal winning puzzle? Me. Where am I? Okay. Uh, we are now going to turn in this quest to, uh, the fox, the Kitsune. <clears throat> right past, there we go. Uh, so yeah, the new thing about the, um, shrine here in Golden, um, you can actually come here and run around, actually run around, uh, the area. You can choose to pray at the shrine to call uh, the fox, or to pray for extra social link experience with uh, anyone that you're having issues with. Which is insanely fucking helpful. <clears throat> Alrighty, that was easy. Thank you, Nanako-chan. And she was shopping today, I'm gonna say, because I usually don't want to fuck this up. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna cook something interesting. Okay, we are going to be making... Sesame spinach. Ugh. Not a big fan of spinach. You boil the spinach. What should you do with the hot spinach? Strain it, let it cool, boil it again with sesame. This is actually a trick question. You strain it to cool it down. Well, you strain it, not you don't cool it down. Uh, you just have to coat it with the sesame seed paste to finish it. Obtain light sesame spinach. And three bait. Today's fusion forecast. Skill change. I finally figured out a way, I figured out how to get the, uh, hidden, uh, spells. I'll teach you guys how to do it later. Alright, we're going to give it to... Aisan. We're going to be finishing her social link real soon. What is this? Wow, this is so good! I'm amazed. How do you know what I like? Hey, if I can marry a good cook. <clears throat> I think I'll be able to master her social link next time we talk to her. Alright, after school, we're going to actually head into town first. <clears throat> we're going to get the uh, Kitsune quest again. And I think maybe even finish the uh, quest outright. Because it um, seems pretty simplistic. But we will see. Accept the MO's request. Alright, uh, this one's a pretty simple one. We have to uh, find a lost wallet. 
Not sure why someone's praying to the gods to find a wallet, but okay. Teach their own. Alright, leave shopping district. Then you go to the Samagawa floodplains. And run all the way to the left. You. Okay. Now go to the riverbed. And examine the sign right here. Alright, then we go give it to the woman. <coughs> Not you. Alright, then we go into town. <clears throat> and go to the shopping district. Let's see, head to the woman and teleport to the shop district north. And search the area a little to the north of the lamppost, the one on the right, close to the shrine at the junction. About three or four steps should be a notification to check. Spare wallet. And return to the wallet. Misplacer. And that should finish the quest. It's been a while since we had a quest we could actually finish in one go. For uh, the Kitsune, at least. Run around. Oh, simple. <clears throat> All right, we're going to hang out with Kanji-san again. We're really close to mastering his social link as well. We actually should be able to do it pretty soon. All right, practice building. Kanji-san. Let me all look up the, uh, yeah. Hold on. This one is actually pretty difficult to spell. Okay. The other day, I went to visit Dad's grave. <clears throat> it's the first time I went on my own. Ah, here it is. Okay, okay. It's the first time I went on my own, well, I had a lot to tell him. Got a big C. How was it? Uh, how was it? Well, uh... I felt like I could finally face him. A little late, though. <clears throat> Dad told me something right before he died. If you're a man, you have to become strong. I felt like he was telling me I wasn't a real man. It pissed me off. So I changed my looks and pushed myself away from people. Fighting gangs, thinking I was protecting Ma, trying to catch this killer. I thought all of that was uh, how I was supposed to become strong. That I was really making up for all the trouble I caused. I was drunk off my power. But that wasn't it. That ain't what Dad meant. I still don't really get what being strong means, but I'm gonna start by not lying to myself. No more being scared of everyone, hiding my hobbies, staying away from people. Anytime, any place, I'm gonna bust right through my right through as my own self. <clears throat> that's the way to deal with the uh, that uh, that's the way to deal with that other me in the TV world. 
long as there's someone like that, not nose kid to accept me, I ain't afraid of nothing. You can choose either A or B. Good for you. Fi uh, find more of them. <clears throat> <laughs> I should, huh? The more who understand me, the better. We're not mastering a social link yet. We'll do that tomorrow, probably. Oh, shit! Sorry. Thanks, dude. Didn't mean to press triangle. Oh, you're home. I am not a chan All right, we're gonna work on the uh, unfinished model again. Strong! The throw. You got glue on your hand, and now it's beginning to stick to other things. Model's well, not complete. So now, level 4 diligence, which is awesome. Love that. Let's see here. Is there anything else we need to do during the day? Nope. <clears throat> so let's spend time with Kanji san. She was actually a robot. This is important. I recommend that you memorize the context. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Did y'all eat breakfast? I did, but it's already digested. I'm so hungry even after eating lunch. I feel like I haven't eaten in 10 years. <laughs> so that reminds me. What figure of speech am I using when I say I haven't eaten in 10 years? Yosuke, take a wild guess. Huh? A, a guess? How do, how, do, uh, how do you get to this for breakfast? Hey you, do you know? It's a hyperbole. Good guess, Yosuke. Hyperbole is a gross exaggeration. We use it all the time when we are not even thinking about it to emphasize what we're saying. I don't even want to imagine having to go 10 years without eating. Thanks, you. You're awesome. Don't think I really need any of that, though. What's my expression at? My expression is max. <laughs> yeah, I don't need it. <clears throat> Alright, we're hanging out with Kanji-san today. Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh no. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. <coughs> Lucy stopped by our store the other day. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. Then she said that was creepy. Kinda stung, but I kept on showing her the air stuff I made. <laughs> in the end she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. It pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside... I get it now. This is what he was talking about. I've just been throwing in the towel all this time. Of course, no one could understand me. I keep, uh, I've been keeping my distance out of fear. So I decided that I do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. Not just about my hobby, but like, when the police, uh, the police suspected me. I di it didn't even cross my mind to try and tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. Because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. I didn't even put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. Those are good I want rules. You to have this, senpai. This 
things me being me. Now I can say it straight out. That other me is me. Me, yeah, as I was saying, those are good rules. All right, Takemikazuchi evolves into. Rokuten Mao. Alright, let's see if I can uh, figure out how to read this one. <clears throat> so I thought, okay. <clears throat> he has a different name, by the way, so keep that in mind while I'm reading this. Within Gohozan, a reversed, uh, a revered uh, mandala in Japanese Buddhism, the <laughs> Darokuten Maro, or the Demon King of the Sixth Heaven, symbolizes the lust for power and desires to attain worldly goals. As a demon king with a great number of minions under his wing, the Maro works to tempt Buddhists from practicing the teachings of Buddha. The Sixth Heaven, also known as Take Jizaiten, the Japanese translation of the Sanskrit name, hell motherfucking no, is the realm where the Demon King resides. Thus he, he himself is also known as Take Jaiziten or Take Jizaiten Jin. Yeah, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that Sanskrit name. <laughs> uh, it's title referring to Oda, uh, the title, the title is also referring to Oda, uh, Oda Nobunaga, a 16th century warlord known for his eccentric personality and cruelty in battle. Who self-proclaimed to be his particular type to this particular title? Uh, thus, the model in Innocent Sin, which is episode two, is based on the warlord himself and traces of the samurai look and fiery texture around his armor, possibly referring to the incident at Honoji, is seen in Kanji's ultimate persona. So yeah, his appearance is that based off of a demon warlord of heaven. Go figure. <laughs> Pretty bitchin' though. I get it, so I, I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud. Hold on a second. I also gotta find out his uh, new stuff. Okay, with Kanji's uh, new form, uh, Rokuten Mao, uh, he loses his weakness to wind, but nullifies electricity now. So, pretty bitching in my opinion. Social Link, Max. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. The genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Odin, the ultimate form of the Emperor Arcana. I'm sure all of you know who Odin is, but I'm going to explain it to you as well. As soon as we get to the uh, part where his name pops up. Now if you use Odin, God of the Storms. Okay, Odin, Norse mythology. He is the uh, king of the gods in Valhalla, which is the... Or, no, not Valhalla, of Asgard, I should say. Which is the uh, holy realm of the gods where Valhalla is found. Yeah, some people think Valhalla and Asgard are interchangeable. They're not! <laughs> um, you may know him better from the Thor movies... They got the uh, mythology pretty damn close, but then again, they all, the original source material was Odin himself, not this technological um, Hannibal Lecter with one eye. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, um, Odin, I believe, sacrificed his eye um, by meditating underneath a tree of no underneath the tree of knowledge to gain the information about his death at Ragnarok, which is how we know how Ragnarok is supposed to happen. <clears throat> He's also associated with lightning. So, as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. And don't worry, even you can do it. <laughs> It'll be real cute. I love this, I'm sorry. I love the fact that they made the biker wannabe 
into a knitter. It's like stabbing cloth. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sarah. Sarah. Uh, I love her. She's awesome. Leave me. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah! Oh, Kanji, you're so awesome. Alright, we're going to hang out with our double friend. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Thank you, Nanako-chan. I was upstairs the entire day, but no, it's okay. I forgive you. Okay, we're going to hang out. As a janitor. <clears throat> Probably just going to be spending time uh, getting stuff. Oh, shit, I'm going to have to really look up this one. This one's kind of difficult to explain. Yeah, we're just spending time with her today. Like I said, since most of the nights are free anyway, we can do a lot here. Since we're almost done with our um, stats, well, doesn't really matter. <clears throat> this <laughs> this guy. Ugh. Level 74 Odin, by the way, that's when you can make him. Hello, Aisan. Okay, are we doing anything during the day? After this. Uh, her. Nope. Okay. Spend time with Aichan. We're doing three max social links in a row. Actually, maybe more. Nope, three, three in a row. I love that. Oh, well, not three in a row, because we had the double last night. So, two in a row, technically. <clears throat> You'll see in a second. The hill overlooking town. I wanted to go somewhere quiet, so you brought her here. This is the first time I've been here. Kind of silly, huh? It's so close by. It's amazing how small my house looks from up here. I still haven't figured it out. I want to find at least one redeeming quality in myself. Something that proves my worth. Or gives me a reason to live. I don't understand why I'm here. Especially after I started thinking I'd be better off dead. But I did, fi I did re finally realize a few things. First, that I was just pretending to be brave. And second, that there was a kind of soul trying to save me. There was a kind soul trying to save me. I came to that to the conclusion that if I meet more people like you in my future, then maybe it's okay to keep on going. I felt like that it, it ah, I felt like that in itself was good enough reason to live. It is. Still, I'm not going to be uh, I'm not good at being alone. I know it's a lot to ask, but will you stay by my side? All right, I want to make sure I have this right because I really don't want to start her, her relationship again. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's temporary, so... Yeah. Mm. You're strong enough now. Why don't be so lonely? Here, take this. <clears throat> Come back. I've carried that thing around ever since I would decide to change who I was. I could check myself whenever I wanted to make sure I was still pretty at all the time. But now, I don't need it. Because from now on, people like you will be my mirror. I'll look for my reflection in you so, I'll, so that I'll never forget who I am. I won't be able to lie to myself anymore. Thank you. Your eyes taught me how to do that. You're the only one, you. You're the only one who didn't pay attention to the rumors flying around about me. You saw me as I am. Ironically, that's a difficult thing a lot of people can't do. Max! Woo! Fuck, we got a lot of these done. Da 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 the dream bond. Create Sandalfon, the ultimate kind of the ultimate son of the Moon Arcana. 
Once we get to uh, who Sandalfon is, I'll tell you who that. More. Oh, Angel Pear. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna explain it real quickly while this nice music plays. Sandalfon is prominently featured in Jewish mysticism, such as the Kabbalah, which uh, where resi ah, where resides in the Seraph of Malkuth, alongside his twin brother Metatron. Sandalfon is said to be responsible for determining the gender of a person in one's embryonic state. And in an other account, said to be a guardian angel who delivers prayers to God. Uh, the companion info further elaborates, saying, Metatron's twin brother in Judo-Christian lore, he is the master of heavenly songs. It is said that a human would take 500 years to walk the length of his body. So he's fucking huge. Hi. Right. I do my best to make sure you don't think otherwise either. I sound really ridiculous now, don't I? Let's sh uh, let's go get some food somewhere. Then shall we? We shall. Such a perky little. Mm. Welcome. Thank you, Nanako Chan. Not sure what's shopping today. Mm, let's see here. Okay, if you want to, you can cook it, but we're not going to. Tonkatsu! Awesome. Surprise when you make pork, cu pork cutlet tonight. You, can put the, uh, you should put the batter in this order. Flour, egg, then panko to make tasty pork cutlet. But you don't have to. Fun fact for those who want to be uh, wanting to sound fancy. Pork cutlet is tonkatsu. Ton meaning pig, or ton, T-O-N. And katsu meaning fried. Hey. We're going to hang out with uh, Oji-san today. Uh. Or tonight. Back to this happy music. You know, I just looked outside. Let's go for a walk in a bit. There's somewhere I want to go with you and Nanako. Oop, I misspelled that. Oh, and... Here. Have this. This is one of my favorite personas that we're going to get. Oh yeah, Sandalfon is made at level 84. Have fun getting there. Coffee mug, sweet. It's the same kind that Nanako and I use. This is your personal mug. Write your name on it later. Thank you. No problem. Take good care of it. I would mind my own cup like that. I do have my own cup. It's a uh, Jack Skeleton cup. We're family. So I'll fill your and Nanako's mugs anytime. Don't forget that, you. Dad! Are you dead? Uh. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, big bro. Okay, Nanako chan. So I'm gonna go to It's scary at night. <laughs> but it's fun with you and Big Bro. What would happen if it was raining? Don't fall in. Why'd we come here? You've been saying all this time how you want to come here, right? Let's come again on a nicer day. We can have a picnic. Yeah, yay. Can I get closer to the river? The fish might be sleeping. All right, all right. Watch your step, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that look on her face. I haven't seen it in a long time. You, I'm gonna keep up. I'm gonna keep up my search for the criminal who ran over Chisato. But this time, I'm not going to escape from anything. I'm just doing it because I'm a detective. Seems I forgot something as basic as that. Maybe me remember what's important to me. I owe you for that. This town is my town. It's the place where you and Nanako live. That's why I'm gonna live on, protecting this place. As a detective, as a father. And master!
Like I said, it's one of my favorite ones. Thou I, I am thou. Thou establish a genuine bond. The genuine bond shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Koryu, the ultimate form of the hero font arcana. Uh, you can now fuse Koryu, the Almighty Guardian. This is actually pretty interesting. His name literally means Yellow Dragon. It reigns over the uh, Shijiang. I think that's pronounced Chinese, so I apologize for my horrible, my horrible pronunciation of that. The celestial creatures in Chinese constellation, namely Bayu, Zanwu, Yinglong, and Zaokyu. Zukyu. Whatever. We know them better as Byaku, Genbu, Suzaku, and Seiryu. They're the um, four guardian beasts of the compass, the north, south, east, west. Um, it's located in the center of the four beasts. Huelong, which is his name, or Shenlong as a lot of people know him better as, is sometimes regarded as the same as Quilin from, uh, from the Sh uh, Xiling. It is, it is the embodiment of the element of earth in the Chinese five elements. So yeah, you know him better as uh, Huelong, or Shenlong. As a lot of people refer to him, I believe. So yeah. He is a giant fucking yellow dragon who will eat you. <laughs> you can make him at level 76. <clears throat> Wait, I said. Damn it, he's still after us. What the? Hey, he's... You there, what's wrong? Detective Dojima? I'm sorry to bother you while you're off duty. Don't sweat it. Who are they? Oh, just a, gr a group. Ah, it's that group of juvenile, uh, juvie thieves. Sorry, you know the one that's been the talk of the town. <clears throat> thieves, those punks. Dad, are you going? Yeah. Arresting the bad guys is my job. I mean, your father's job. You take care of Nanako. Go get him. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm Detective Dojima of the Inaba PD, feared by punks and thugs citywide. <laughs> Don't you two worry about me. Hell no, okay? <laughs> All right, stop right there, you punks. <laughs> Go get him, Dad. Yeah, he's so cool. Let's go home. I need to get that bath. I need to get the bath ready. Oh, and let's make a late di uh, night snack. I'm hungry. <laughs> Apologize for my butchering of those Chinese names. I can't speak Chinese. <laughs> okay, we have a quest. She's over in the practice building. That we'll get from this floor, so don't have to worry about it too much. All right, here she is. Whoops. Okay, so she wants three proofs of passion, which you can get from Furious Gigas and the Secret Lab, floors B3 to B4. Okay. Go into town. District. We're going to save because I think we may actually be able to level up Temperance today. If that's the case, we shouldn't we shouldn't be able to. And I'll uh, go hang out with Yanni son today. I'm trying to remember my mental uh, map of the uh, experience gained throughout the game so far. So if I can't level her, uh, this up, I'll be uh, resetting. No, maybe not. Nope, just spending time.
Alright, we'll start tomorrow. With next month. Welcome back. Okay. Thank you, Nako chan. Sorry. <laughs> Um, that's going to be it for now. We'll start next set off where we uh, continue from here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the set. Hope it was helpful for you going through a Max Social Link playthrough. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thanks for watching Let's Play. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And please feel free to like. It really does help me out. I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. Bye!